Big fat floppy boner. Now that I have your attention today, we'll be getting our pistols platinum and maybe also gold. So we need to get gold and platinum for our P890, for our Deagle, for our X12, for our Basilisk. I had so many people fry me for the way I pronounce it. It's Basilisk, but it's so not different. They're basically the same thing. And the X13 auto. So for our gold challenge for the pistols, we need to get three kills without dying five times with each and every one of them. So this shouldn't be too bad. I already have this done for a few of them, but let me show you the build that I'm be working with for each of these guns. This is our P890 build. I have these tuned for recoil steadiness and damage range since I don't need to ADS since we're using a... Uh, you know, akimbo here. We will need to ADS later once we're going for our, our long shots for our platinum challenge, but this is our class for our P890. This is our Deagle class. I also have this tune for damage range and recoil steadiness since it is akimbo. This is my X12 class. This is our Basilisk class. And this is our X13 class. So let's hop in and try to get our gold challenges done. So the pistol challenges weren't too difficult to do. I'm pretty sure the only challenge I kind of struggled with was the mounted challenge for our Deagles. And that wasn't even really that difficult. It's just finding spots to mount on if I was being stubborn enough to not use my deployable cover. But the rest of the challenges were pretty simple to do and the pistols have some of the best camos in this game. Like I'm using the Deagle camo right here on our P890s. This has been one of my go-to camos for a while. I just love the, the checkered pattern on it. And a bunch of the other pistols just have solid color camos, which, you know, were recently nerfed, which is unfortunate, but they still look pretty decent. But now the challenge is going to be getting three kills with these without dying. I have just a very bad habit of running straight forward towards the enemy spawn, you know, just trying to get as many kills as I can and not really caring if I, I die or not. Today, I'm going to need to change some of my bad habits. So once I start these streaks, I'm going to have to actually start giving a shit about not dying. There's two, we just need one more and we're dead. That is one part of it that is completely out of my control. You know, you could say skill issue, you could say whatever, but there is a thing called the camo curse. I know there's some of you out there that have tried to go for like the three kills without dying or five kills without dying or whatever, and you always die one kill short of what you're looking for. And I've fallen victim to the camo curse one too many times. Today's the day where it stops. Now we just need two kills after that. Let's play a little aggressive just because... I get impatient and it worked. Look at that. Didn't change what I was doing at all and it still worked. Now, one thing I'm not too sure of, the something I always flop back and forth on is whether or not these stack. I'm pretty sure if I were to get six kills, it would count towards like two for the progress of it. But I, you know, I, my trust in COD isn't that high. And I feel like I would get screwed over any chance I could when trying to get camos. But if I can continue streaking past three, I'm gonna continue streaking. I'm not just gonna die after three. I think these pistols might be the worst out of them all. I'm really excited to go back to the Baskalis. I'm just going to say that to trigger the people that got mad about how I pronounced it. But I can't wait to go back to that and actually try out the snake shot rounds. I completely forgot they were in this game, to be honest. And Akimbo, basically shotgun, sounds like a whole lot of fun. I was using the Deagles for a little bit. And from what I have used with the Deagles, they're really fun to use Akimbo too. It's like Akimbo pistols are some of the best things you can use or enjoyment wise. And we just hit a six streak. So hopefully, the oh, weapon challenge completed. We did get it. Okay, cool. So now we can move on to the Deagles. I just need one of them for the Deags. I just need to get three kills without dying once. That guy just ate that throwing knife. All right, cool. I wanted to die anyways. We need the Deags out. What? Why am I spawning with a guy with a shotgun sprinting right at me? And the deagles didn't even kill in that one shot, which is also annoying. I was just gassing up the deagles and now they're not doing it. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's gold on the deagles. That was easy. Almost had like five or six right there too. Now we're on the X-12s with our nerfed Azul camo. They're not that bad, but I just missed the, the vibrance of them. Just looks so good. Eat that throwing knife. There we go. I put some fat clips on these. They're not the, the largest clips that you can have, but these are pretty big. I think I have them at like 30 or something. Yeah, 33. So I should not be reloading at all. If you see me reloading, it's probably me COD reloading or me after missing every shot. Oh. There we go. That's two. We just need one more. No, that's not the camel curse. I made a mistake. That one's on me. Okay. No! It's the same guy. I, I don't know why I keep pushing into that corner when that guy has the shotgun. I just I, I just forget in like the heat of the moment. No, get back here. Got him. Sorry, riot shield guy. That's my kill. Oh, you can have the you can have the other riot shield guy though if you want. That's all you. Oh, I'll take him actually. I changed my mind. There we go. 
Oh, we're on a bloodthirsty. So that's where the camo curse hits in every time I hit five. Oh. There we go. That's two. The third's right here. Oh, I got somebody else on the ground. No, I, that wasn't even the guy I was aiming for. We might get these all done in one game, or at least close to it. 44 19. That is not bad. Our PA 90 is done. Our Deagles are done. Our X 12 needs one more. Our Basculus needs five more. And our X 13s need four more. Oh, this is it right here. Let's go. We got it all done. That's a triple kill, baby. That's a good way to knock out three. Now on to our Basculus. That's what I was, I'm the most excited about. I want to see how great these things are. Okay. Hit marker right off the bat, but I was at distance. Let's try to get a little closer. There we go. Oh, these don't have a whole lot of ammo in them, do they? Just five bullets in each. But it looks like they kill in just about one if I'm close enough. I just need one more. There it is. Okay. There's some progress. Just need to do that four more times. Or just continue this streak. Whatever one works. Ooh. Shot his cankles out. Ooh. There we go. No. Oh, we hit markered. I think we're on nine there, though. That's some great progress. There we go. There's one more guy right over here, and I have one bullet in each, and he has a claymore right there. I don't know how that didn't kill me. I barely dodged that. Oh, no. Out of ammo, and now I'm surrounded. Don't fuck with me now, camo curse. Ooh, nice little double. Oh! There we go. That's three. We'll take it. Nobody kill me. I just need one final kill. There we go. There's gold on the basculus. Go ahead and show it. Yeah, now time to move to the M or the X13. So these ones are full auto. This is really fun to use like single fire. Ooh, with two of them, they kind of just are hit micro hit marker machines. There we go. I even have like a pretty large mag on them and I'm still having to reload. All right, we got to change this build up a little bit. Maybe we add on a suppressor for recoil and maybe damage range. Well, let's get a damage range and recoil one and up our mags to 50. Let's see how those work. We're going to have to die though if we want to test them out. Oh, we already got two kills. We might as well go for three. There we go. Okay, now let's see if the suppressors help out a bit. Eh, kind of. Ooh, got him with one pistol. Got that guy with two. Oh, and there's number three. Not not three pistols. Three three kills. Ooh, we just need one more kill. There we go. Let's go. That's gold, baby. Now we can start working on platinum. We need long shots, and I don't know if I'm going to get them with these akimbo. So after this game, I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, long shot builds, and I'll show you, and I'll show them to you guys when we're done. Almost made it through that whole thing without my brain shitting out. All right, so here are my long shot builds for my pistols. Here's my P890. Uh, I went ahead and tuned everything for ADS speed and damage range for this one, at least. I did basically the same thing for the Deagle, added as much range as I could with as much ADS speed because I'm gonna be playing in tier one and I just want as much ADS speed as possible to make sure I win those engagements. Same thing here for the X12. It's all tuned for ADS speed and damage range. And here's our Basilisk. Uh, I also have this tuned for damage range and I think aim steadiness for this one. And then for our X13 is tuned for damage range and recoil control. Cause I know this thing wants to always go straight up in the air when you shoot it, but let's go ahead, hop in some tier one and try to knock these long shots out. All right. So we're going to start out with our P890 here A hey, game. Please stop lagging, please. I need to get long shots. I need you to stop lagging game. Come on. Get with the times game. I'm just going to try to power through it. But for each of these pistols, we need 15 long shots. Jeez. The stuttering is awful. It's like my game only knows how to run shoot house. Are we good now? All right, I think we're good. I need to stay a little further back and hope that that's a long shot. I actually won't be able to tell because nothing's going to pop up for it, but at least it only takes one bullet or maybe two or three or my entire mag. Please repeat. I'm desperate. Oh my God, he did. And he killed me. But my thinking with this is, is that long range and core, these pistols are normally going to be hip fire machines. So hopefully if I stay as far back as I can for most of these engagements, jeez, dude. Almost killed me. But if I stay as far back as I can, most of these engagements, I should be getting long shots because I'm pretty sure it's only like 20 meters for a long shot, maybe even 15. They might have been generous, but it, I don't think it's too far. Also, sick thing about the pistols is I have the fast draw thing on. Bam. 
I love that. I love just having like the gun to the side. Even if I'm not even using it, it just looks cool. But this game, I'm having a hard time getting people at any long shot angles. It's like they, they stick to their spots. They don't really move from them. I can't hit a shot. It's got to be the sight. I've been using iron sights for everything, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going for long shots with these pistols. Why not throw an optic on? And now I'm kind of regretting it. I didn't know what else to put on this. There we go. That's for sure one. Yeah, our first game so far is not looking so hot. I only have four kills now, and I'm still not hitting any shots. I don't know what's going on here. What? I am struggling. There we go. That's one for sure. I just can't compete with these other guns. I'm getting blasted the second I peek anything. Maybe I need to put my tuning more into accuracy. Okay, we finished the game with literally only eight kills and I maybe got two long shots. This is not looking good so far. Oh no, we got three long shots. Damn, dude. There we go. That's for sure a long shot. This will be two if I can hit this. Nope. Maybe I should just get a deployable cover and mount on it. Like I do with like the AR long shots. Okay, so the mounting does help a lot with the accuracy. Nice, dude. How many of those were long shots? Please say we're done with this stupid pistol. No way we need one more. <sighs> Honestly, you know what? Screw tier one. I'm gonna go try shoot house. We'll see if I can get my pistol done there. There we go. We already got our long shot, even though our game's stuttering like crazy. I hate this, but it's fine because we're done with this pistol and I can move to the deagle. There we go. Okay, you know what? We didn't need tier one at all. Ooh, nice little triple there. That's sick. This thing is a hit marker machine. Outside of like a few headshots, I've been getting like nothing but hit markers with this. That was the main reason behind my thinking of playing tier one for this, but it's just not as consistent in there. But it seems like when I finally get somebody at a long shot angle, I shoot them once and then it's just a hit marker and then I get an assist. How did I get a headshot assist? What the fuck is that? Ooh, eat that, little bitch. How is that not a fucking kill? That's fucking horseshit. Where are my shots going? All right, so about after three or four games of Shoot House. Oh, we finally have a platinum. What the fuck? Did I have it the whole time? Okay, so I don't know when, but we did get our Deagle platinum. I think I was playing with it for like a game or maybe even two. Still going for long shots while I already had it done. And I was starting to get really frustrated because I was just getting nothing but hit markers at range. It was really pissing me off. But now we're working on our X12 and we're back to tier one. I, I can't do the hit markers anymore. If I see another one, I might lose my mind. And apparently, Hotel is the only tier one map that is in rotation. This is the only map like I've ever seen in tier one. Please put Shoe House in tier one. I'm begging. Or just, you know, have a tier one playlist. With all the same playlist as core. And I'm pretty sure we already have a few long shots this game. We're not doing too bad. There we go. That's got to be one. The X-12 seems significantly easier to do than the decal was for whatever reason. This is all backwards. I don't like it. Oh, we got nine in one game. That's not bad at all. You know what? I'm going to say it. Pistol long shots are the most annoying challenge to get in the game. I would rather do 100 mounted kills. 100%. Because every gun out TTKs me. Every gun outranges me. It's just not a good time. It went from like very fun, trying to just get three kills without dying to going to the long shots and then hating my life. On top of that, my entire team's also going for long shots. Look at this. They're all just eating each other's ass. It's like the, the human centipede. Okay, we have to be done with this pistol by now, right? Let's see, did we get it? Oh, we did, sick. Just two pistols to go. There we go. This seems like a pretty decent pistol long shot spot, even if my game's lagging dick. Where the fuck are these shots going? Eat that shit. Eat that too. And another one. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're pretty close to platinum. If not, we already have it. So I'm gonna start working on our X13. Oh uh, no, I'm one away on the Basilisk. There's our one long shot. Now onto the X13. There we go. Let's try to get this done this game so I don't have to worry about pistol long shots ever again in my life. There we go. We're actually draining these. There we go. No way the X-13 is going to be the easiest to do. I thought those were going to be the most difficult. We're kind of just knocking these out. I'm seeing a lot of people using incendiary rounds in hardcore. That's just evil. Because even if you out TTK them, you might die just from incendiary damage, which is crazy. Never even thought about doing that. Actual villain behavior. 
Peek it. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Let's go, dude. I think we just need like six more. That's that's just an estimate. I really wish there was a way to check camos in game, especially for hardcore. There being absolutely zero pop-ups is cool for like gameplay wise, but for camo grinding wise, I just want to see when I'm done. But the fact that you've never been able to check your camos in game, like in any COD is kind of dumb to me. I feel like that wouldn't be that hard to implement, but I'm not a game dev. There we go. That's another one. We're so close. It's not even funny. We might actually already have it, but I'm still stressing. Because we had three coming into this game. We got one with a revolver. We have 18 kills right now. And think maybe four or five of those were not long shots. So we either already have it or we're very close. But Joe, why don't you just do the math for it? I, I, you know, I, don't, I don't do math. Math's not for me. Oh, wait. This guy just went down. Let me get my long shot on him still. There we go. That's so crazy. Having like survivor in hardcore. I didn't even know he went down. It made zero sound. Is last stand meta in hardcore? I'd lose my shit. All right, well, we had 20 kills there. Let's see if uh, we got a platinum. The Basilisk is done. Is the X-13 done? Please say yes. Oh, we need two more. Fuck. All right, let's get these two long shots and get the fuck out of here. There's one of them. Oh, two's right over here. Come on. I got two kills right there, but neither one of those were long shots. At least I don't think so. That might be it right there. If not, oh, I was going to say I'll shoot the guy on the roof, but he kind of fucked me up. Let me just make sure. Okay, no, the guy on the roof is just fucking me. Pre-fire him. Got him. All right, that's for sure a long shot. Now we can back out and hopefully we have platinum on it. Please, for the love of anything good. What? Why? I just had to go and diss the camo curse. And now it's just fucking me for fun. All right, motherfuckers. Somebody give me one long shot right now. Okay, I'll take a nade instead. Oh, come on. There we go. That's got to be our long shot. Please say that it is. Say that we're done. Go ahead. Say the word game. Oh, thank God. All right. Do we have it on all of them now? I'm 24 out of 51 for polyatomic, which is not bad. A lot further than we were like two days ago. I never equipped it on the revolver. We got platinum there. We got platinum here. And we got platinum over here. Woo. Well, I'm about fed up with all these. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like it, you want to see more, like it. You don't dislike whatever other YouTube stuff. Sub, socials down below. Goodbye.